Hey, this is Andy from Read CV, and I just wanted to make a quick video introducing a new website template we created called Sonoma. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can install and customize this template to make it your own. So if I head over to the templates page on Read CV, I can open up the Sonoma template and hit preview to check out how it looks with my profile data. Out of the box, you can see that I have my profile and experiences all laid out on the desktop in little apps and folders. So I'm going to just click around and explore a little bit. If I start by opening the About Me icon, I get a little contact card that I can move around, and it has all my links and my bio. I also have these little folders of experiences I can open up. So for instance, if I open my Side Projects folder, I get a little chronological list of my projects. Of course, I can also open up any of these projects to check out the details and images in a little notes app. And I can even double click on an image to open it up in a new window and see it bigger. This template also supports my status updates, which appears as a little emoji on my desktop and can be opened in a little sticky note. Lastly, one fun thing we added was the ability to upload a song and album art, which appears under the Listen app and opens in a custom music player. So this all looks great, but if you want to use this for yourself, you'll probably want to do some customization, like swap out the wallpaper image or change the song to one that you like. So let me show you how to do that. First, we're going to go back to the template permalink and click Install. This will create a copy of the site that I can edit in my dashboard. When I click on the site, it will open in Sites OS where I can make my edits. The first thing I want to do is change the wallpaper, so I'm going to open the Media Manager and find Backdrop.jpg. From here, I can just click the three-dot menu on the right and choose Replace to upload my own image. When I refresh the page, I'll see the new image as the background. Now that I have a lighter colored backdrop, I might want a lighter toolbar to match it. To switch the theme, open the Editor app and find the Site Settings component. From here, you'll see a setting called Toolbar Color and you can change the value to light. Now, just hit Command S to save, and you'll see the new toolbar color. The last bit of customization you might want to do is upload a different song and album artwork to the player. To do this, we'll go back to the Media Manager and find soundtrack.mp3. Again, we'll hit the three-dot menu and replace this file with our new track. For the album artwork, we'll find soundtrackcover.jpg and replace that with our new artwork. Now, when I refresh the project, I'll see that the Listen app has been updated with our new song and artwork. Cool. Before we publish our changes, we'll want to open site settings and make sure we personalize our thumbnail, title, and description. Once that's done, we can publish our changes in the top right corner of the screen. Now that we're happy with our new site, we probably want to remove the Read CV branding and add a custom domain. To do so, head over to your dashboard and click the three-dot menu in the top right corner and choose Upgrade Site. You can choose between monthly and yearly billing, and if you're a Read CV supporter, you'll get the first site for free. Once you've completed your upgrade, you'll see the option to add a domain in the three-dot menu. We can now also open the site settings to turn off the Read CV branding and add any additional meta tags to the site. Once you're done, just save and publish the site. 